Hello there, grade one students. Welcome to math class. For this lesson, we will need a math book, pencil, paintbrush, and a marker. Now the topic for today is topic 12, lesson one, compare objects by length on pages 667 to 672. For today's lesson objective, you can say, I can order objects by length. But first, let's have a review. Let's see if you still remember the previous lesson that we had. Number one, circle the number that is less than the number of cubes, five, three, or eight. What's your answer? Number two, circle the number that is greater than the number of cubes. One, four, nine. What's your answer? Let's see if your answers are the same as my answers. For number one, the answer is three. Did you get it right? For number two, the answer is nine. Did you get it right? Great job, grade one. have the vocabulary words for this lesson. Repeat after me. Length. Length is a type of measurement. It tells us how long or wide something is. Length. Now let's go to the next word. Repeat after me. Longest. Good job. Look at the picture. The yellow worm is the longest among the three worms. Longest. Repeat after me. Shortest. Look at the picture. The red worm is the shortest among the three worms. Shortest. Welcome to my Longer. Okay. 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 Look at the picture. And then Pencil number why? two is longer than pencil number one. Longer. Next, shorter. Repeat, shorter. Pencil number one is shorter than pencil number two. Did you get it? Good job, grade one. Hey there. Say hello to Jamal. I asked him to help out with our project. And what is our project? We need to compare the lengths of three objects, then tell which stick is the shortest and which is the longest. I asked Jamal to find three sticks for us to compare. Here they are. Oh my, it's hard to compare their lengths when they're all twisted up like that. Let's arrange them so they all go in the same direction. There, that's better. But it's still hard to compare their lengths. We need a strategy, a plan. Hmm, let's try this. We'll draw a straight line like this. Then we'll move the sticks so one end of each stick touches the line. One, two, three. Look, now they all start at the same place and we can compare their lengths. Okay, can you tell which stick is the shortest and which is the longest? It's pretty easy to see that stick number two is the longest. We'll mark it with a check. But it's hard to tell which is shortest, stick number one or stick number three. We need a strategy. I know. We can move our start line to the right very carefully until we reach the end of the shortest stick. Watch as we move the line. There. We reach the end of stick number three. See that? Stick number one is longer. That means that stick number three is the shortest. We'll mark it with an X. Stick number two is the longest. 
and stick number three is the shortest. We had a good strategy, and we did good work. Now it's time to say goodbye to Jamal. Goodbye, Jamal, and thanks for bringing the sticks. And now you will be watching a short video about this lesson. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Here we go. Did you enjoy the video? Great job. Now we are going to do a task. On page 667 of your book, you can see it there, some objects. Now get ready with your pencil, paintbrush, and your marker. Okay, can you put these objects in order from longest to shortest? How can you tell if one object is longer than another object? Now, you can put your answer in the table below. Put your answer from longest to shortest. You can draw or just simply write the name. You have one minute to do it. Okay, are you done? Great job. Okay, so let's see if your answer is the same as my answer. Now, what is the longest? The longest is the pencil. Next to that is the marker. And the last one, or the shortest, is the paintbrush. Is it the same as your answer too? Okay, now we have here, I could tell if one object is longer than another object by lining up the ends of the object. You can put the worms in order by length. Are these worms the same length or different lengths? They are different lengths. How can you tell? The worms are lined up at one end and you can see that the other ends do not line up. You can put the worms in order by length. The yellow worm is longer than the red worm and the blue worm. The yellow worm is the longest. What does the word longest mean? It means having the greatest length. Does having their ends line up help you find which worm is longest? Yes. When you line up one end of all three objects, you can look at the other ends to compare their lengths. Which worm is shorter, the red or blue worm? The red worm is shorter than the blue worm. What does the word shortest mean? It means having the least length. Is the red worm the shortest worm? Yes, the red worm is the shortest. Why don't you have to compare the red worm to the yellow worm to know that the red one is the shortest? You already know that the yellow one is the longest. What are the worm colors in order from longest to shortest? Yellow, blue, red. What are the worm colors in order from shortest to longest? In order from shortest to longest, the worm colors are red, blue, yellow. Now you know how to put objects in order from shortest to longest. Now, let us watch another video for you to understand the lesson further. So just enjoy and here we go. Now, open your book to page 688. Let's do the guided practice. Draw lines to show which object is longest and which is shortest. Now let's see number one. The longest is the pink one and the shortest is the purple one. As you can see, these three objects start the same at the same point, right? So we can see that the pink one is the longest. All right, now let's do number two. Which do you think is the longest 
and which is the shortest? Can you do it? All right, great. Okay, later on we will see which is the longest and which is the shortest in the next slide. Okay, now let's see, let's see this. Do you understand box, the show me part? Okay, use the words shorter and shortest to describe two different worms above. Okay, you can see there on the page the worms, right? So, how do you use shorter and shortest? Do you have your answer now? Okay, now let's see my answer. All right, so for number two question, the longest is the paintbrush with a color green tip and the shortest is the paintbrush with the color purple tip. Do you have the same answer as my answer? Great job. Okay, now for the do you understand me part, we have here the blue worm is shorter than the yellow worm, but the red worm is the shortest. Is your answer correct? Great job! Okay, this time open your book to page 669. Let's do the independence practice. Draw lines to show which object is longest and which is the shortest. Number three, which is the longest? Which is the shortest? Number four, which is the longest? And which is the shortest? You have one minute to do that. Are you done? Good job. Now, let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, do you have the same answers as my answers? Great job, great job. Now you are able to do it. Okay, now let's do number five. Use the clues about length to color the crayons. Now, you're going to get your crayons this time. The shortest crayon is orange. Can you color the shortest crayon orange? Good. Next, the blue crayon is longer than the green crayon. Which is the green crayon and which is the blue crayon? Can you color them? Good. Are you done coloring? Great job. Now let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, so as you can see, the orange crayon is the shortest and the blue crayon is the longest. Are you correct? Great. Now, go to page 670 of your book. Let's do the math practices and problem solving. Solve the problems below. You can read with me. Number six. Thomas paints a line that is longer than the blue line. What color line did he paint? Use the pictures to solve. Is it the blue one, the yellow one, or the red one? Write blue, yellow, or red in the blank. Did that? Good. Now let's go to number seven. Amber's piece of chalk is shorter than the blue piece. What color is Amber's chalk? Use the pictures to solve. Write pink, blue, or purple. Are you done? Great job. Now let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, here we go for number six. The correct answer is red. Did you get it right? Good. Number seven. The correct answer is purple. Did you get it right? Great job. Okay. 
Now, let's do number eight, the higher order thinking. Okay, draw three lines with different lengths in order from longest to shortest. Label the longest and shortest lines. Can you, you, can you do that? Good. Number nine, which best describes the pens? A, the blue pen is longest. B, the red pen is longest. C, the green pen is longest. D, the blue pen is shortest. Now think, which is the correct answer? Good. Now let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, so these are the correct answers. Good job. Clap your hands for yourself for doing a great, great, great job. Good job, grade one. Okay, before the lesson ends, let's have a wrap up. Okay, let's answer this question. How can you put three objects in order from shortest to longest? Okay, so we have here, number one, I line up one end of all three objects. Next, number two, then I look at the other end of the three objects to see which one is the shortest. Next, number three, next. I compare the other two objects to see which one is the shortest. Number four, the shorter object would be next as put the objects in order. The longer object would be last. Great job, grade one. Now you can already compare objects by length. You can already identify which is the longest and which is the shortest. Now, tell your mom and your dad what you have learned for today so that they will give you a gift. Go ahead. Okay, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for answering your activities for today. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.